Hi everyone, this is Radul Live. Thanks for joining us as usual. And uh, today we're going to talk about softball. Yes, believe it or not, we have more sports in this country than football, rugby and athletics. And uh, joining me today is... Uh, Simon Okeo, he's the national team captain of uh, the softball team, and Francis Karugu, president, softball Kenya. Francis and Simon, how are you doing? Yeah, good. You're yeah, good. Thank I'll start with you, Francis, so that we can get an overview of soft softball. Shame on me that in two years of doing this show, this is the first time we're talking about softball. I hope it won't be the last. Mm. Introduce softball to us in terms of the sport, how is it played, and what is the what does the softball status of Kenya look like? Yeah, thank you so much. Softball is one of the many batting games whereby you get a bat, you hit the ball, then you run round what we call a diamond so that you score. You can um, bring it together with a cricket, um, rounders and those kind of sports. And we all played rounders in school. Yeah, yeah. Most of, us, uh, most of us who played rounders can relate to that game. Mm -hmm. So softball specifically is played in what we call a diamond. And a diamond is a square seated on its tip. So when you, put a, uh, you get a square and you have it standing on its tip, mm -hmm. that's a diamond. So at the tip of the diamond, we have what we call a home plate. And uh, near the home plate, we have the batter's box. Mm -hmm. So at the batter's box, the, the batter gets a bat like this one, hits the ball, this one and runs to the first base, which is the second corner, then runs to the third corner and back home so that they can score what we call a run. So the game of softball is played by nine players. One team has nine players and the other team has nine players. So the two teams, one of the teams is the offensive team, the other team mm -hmm. is the defensive team. The offensive team is the batting team, which has nine players. Mm -hmm. And then the offensive team, they are the fielders. And the job of the fielders is basically to put out the runners. So when a batter hits the ball before they get to the first base, the fielders are supposed to try and put out that particular runner. And how do they put them out? They put them out by one tagging that player. Mm -hmm. So they usually the fielders have something like this, we call a glove. When they catch that ball in the air this way, then that particular batter, whoever batted that ball is out. Mm -hmm. So that is court ball. The other way is when the runner is going to the first base, Tag that player. Having the ball in the glove, then touch them that way. That particular player is out. So those are two simple ways of putting out the runners. There are many ways of doing it, but those are the two basic ones. So one, catching the ball in there before it touches the ground. The other one, getting the ball and tagging. So when three are out, then we switch sides. So that the team which is batting now becomes the fielding team, and the team which is in the defense becomes the offensive team. And we do that seven times. Seven times, then we count the number of runs scored. And, and we score a run, again, running from home to first to second to third base, then back, back. home. And uh, you, we do that continuously for seven innings. And what is an inning? An inning is getting a chance to bat and getting a, a chance to be in the defense. That is one inning. Then we score again, you, you go to the offense, and then you defend again for seven times. And we keep on keeping a record of the scores or the runs. And at the end of the seventh inning, we look at the team which is ahead in terms of runs. And that team is the winning team. I'm a huge fan of cricket, so a lot of it has made sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're often compared to baseball, not even to cricket. You're yeah, often yeah. compared to baseball. What's the difference? Yeah. You answer me before I come to this young man. Yeah, baseball is uh, almost our sister, if I can use the word sister. Mm -hmm. is, they are very related. The difference is simple. Latin softball, the ball is taken to the batter through underarm action. Mm -hmm. This uh, We call it pitching. So the pitcher takes the ball through underarm. That is softball. And then the, the diamond, what I call the diamond, is shorter for, base, for softball. Softball, the, the uh, diamond is 18 meters by 18 meters. Baseball, the diamond is 22, and uh, the ball is smaller. Mm. The baseball ball is far much smaller. And baseball, they like using a wooden bat. Because when they get annoyed, sometimes this they break wood. it. Yeah. This is uh, metallic. Oh. It's very hard to break. Uh, yeah. But, the, uh, but the, uh, the baseball bat is wooden. So sometimes when they get annoyed, they break, break it. it <laughs> softball, we don't <laughs> do those things. In softball, yeah. we are a bit uh, softer. We don't go that way. So the ball is smaller for baseball, and they pitch 
going uh, up. Uh, over, over arm, over arm, and for like us, cricket we, as well is yeah, over. Like cricket, and for us, we do it under. I, I can see Simon. Simon has nodded throughout this. He's like, yes, yes, I'm very good. I know this stuff. Um, Simon, what is? Uh, how did you get into softball? How did you get into to? Uh, how how did you s decide? Everybody plays football and rugby or runs. How did you decide it fo it's softball for yeah, you? Yeah, I, I I used to play football. Mm. So when I was in second year, I got injury. I got an uh, injury on my knee. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I was doing a uh, sports science mm -hmm. as a course. So in, sec in second year, there's a unit of softball. So when I went to class, Mr. Karubu was the, was the lecturer. Uh -huh. So he advised me to go and join the school team. He punched you? Yeah, <laughs> to go and join uh -huh. the school team, KU mm -hmm. school team. So I was going to go and it's a uh, national team selection yeah, men. Mm -hmm. and I can join so then I got some friends who really motivated me Nika Zara na marafiki then I liked the game then then the competition level so they come to is the game and you realized you were actually good in it yeah what do your friends say because uh, it's just an odd sport uh, yeah, m m many people say that these are a white game, a white people game. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Ignorance. <laughs> yeah, like, ukumambia mtu wati, eh, tu yendo chile softball, ati takuliza, eh, softball. What's, what's softball? So tena umeleze, like, baseball, because baseball is more known. Mm. Umeleze baseball, ni nata kuambia, ati, ah, yoni games za wazungu, ba na chana na ayo. But, but it's uh, softball is less uh, because you said you had an injury so you couldn't play football so it's it's less demanding as a sport in on your body on your physical body no, or the training is just as hard it's a lot demanding mm. no that the position that i was playing mm -hmm. really which position do you play i am the pitcher pitcher <laughs> oh the other oh the eh? okay <laughs> i'll learn <laughs> by the end of this conversation <laughs> i'll know the difference this is baseball cricket softball so, so let me come back to uh, Francis. Francis, what does the softball space look like in Kenya? Do we have clubs? Do we have leagues? At the moment, yeah, the space is there. We have several, we have over twelve teams, but basically they are in the universities, mm -hmm. like uh, Kenyatta University, where mm -hmm. I is it. We have a uh, multimedia university where I am the uh, director of sports. Then we have uh, Dendat Kimadi, uh, Technical University of Mombasa. We have Masinde Murido University, University of Endoret. Uh, we also have NYS, National Youth Service. Yeah, oh so basically goodness. like uh, 12 universities are playing it. We also have a few clubs which are coming up. We have started mm -hmm. a club, they are calling Rekas. Nairobi Rekas. Nairobi Rekas. That's yeah. nice. They want to dominate that space. Mm -hmm. So for now we have 12 men team and about 12 women teams. So that's where we select our national teams from. So currently, what has our national team, what have we been participating in? What are the plans? The, the first time Kenya participated internationally in softball was 2005. In uh, 2005, we went to Zimbabwe for uh, Olympic qualifier. Mm -hmm. 2008, you remember, we had um, Beijing um, Olympics. Olympics. Mm -hmm. So we went to Zimbabwe in 2005 so that we could try and qualify in Africa. Africa is given only one slot. Uh, yeah. Basically, it's because uh, of the performance. Because mm -hmm. uh, softball is more dominated by the US and China. Mm -hmm. So Africa has not really become so good. You know, we, at the Olympics, we pick the top teams. So in Africa, we are given only one slot. And we have to qualify together with Europe. So we went to Zimbabwe, uh, yeah. that is 2005. We met uh, Zimbabwe, we, we, we met South Africa, and I think uh, Botswana. Mm -hmm. We didn't perform very well. We ended up being number four. The next time we participated was in 2016. 2016, we went to Canada for World Championship with the ladies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were ranked number 26 in the world. That was That's the second bad. performance. That's not very bad. Yeah. Then uh, the third time was uh, in February this year, where we took the men team to South Africa for World Cup qualifiers. Mm -hmm. We took the under 23 team and uh, the seniors, where is the captain of the mm -hmm. seniors. And uh, we did well. Uh, the juniors were number two, and the seniors were number three. three yeah. yeah, that's not very bad. Basically, we were going there for uh, exposure, experience, and getting the ranking points. Because mm. men have never been ranked. This is the first time men really participated in a one championship. So we wanted them to 
enter that space and get ranking points so that they keep learning and they become better every day. What are you currently doing to try and popularize the sport, especially amongst fans as well? Because we see what we see what America has done. Baseball is arguably one of the highest supported sports in yeah. America. I mean, they have American football, basketball, and baseball. Those are their three sports. One thing which is going to work to us, our, um, that kind of a thing, people knowing softball more, is what we are calling CBC, because it's one of the sports which is being taught at the CBC. Ah. You ask any <laughs> kid who is in grade one to five, five what softball is, they'll give you a lot Don't of information. Um, yeah, so they know, they already know. Mm -hmm. So that is working in our favor, mm -hmm. and is a dumps up for the government for introducing softball in our curriculum. So it's only just been introduced. It's just recently. been introduced. Yeah. Shame on us. Yeah. <laughs> Shame uh, on us. Yeah. And that is good. Maybe in the next five years, we shall be closer to the U.S. probably. Never know. Watch in terms of space. how we've developed over the years, how lo how, uh, when was the federation formed? The federation was formed in uh, 1992 by some physical education teachers. Mm -hmm. 19, yeah, was it? No, nah, 84. 84, some physical education teachers would mm -hmm. go to U.S., they would look at the way the Wazungus were playing, then they would come with some equipment like the gloves and bats, and they tried to play the game as a recreational sport. Mm -hmm. Then one day they came together and thought, why can't we start a federation, which we shall call baseball and softball. That is in 1984. But in 1996, the government thought, why should we have one federation running two sports? Why don't we separate them? Mm -hmm. So softball went their way, and baseball went their way. We have a baseball and federation. We have a baseball federation. <laughs> yeah. And the first president probably is a friend of yours. Mm. The first president of softball is a friend of Shiroi. You must know her. The um, former yes. treasurer of uh, yeah, NOC. She was the first president, I'm the second. But Probably you'll be the third. Uh, okay, this question is not really for you. Yes. But I've never heard of a, a baseball team. There is. There is. I it's there, but maybe probably they are not as aggressive as, as we as are. As you are. Yeah. But maybe professional, because all of us have the background of sports. Eh? We are professionals in that area. Probably. So when did we start? Because, yes, we've had a federation, as you say, since 96, mm -hmm. as its own federation. When did we start to make steps and progress because i can't believe it, you've been fully operational for all those years yeah we've been there but the major challenge of uh, softball maybe i can talk about the major yeah. challenge major challenge is the equipment as you can see mm. these boats are not available in our sports houses so at the moment we are trying to uh, work with nairobi sports as to bring them mm -hmm. we get these ones uh, online from us mm -hmm. and this one mm -hmm. goes for like uh, 500 shillings so they are not locally available. Even if you hand the money, you not get it locally. This one and I'm goes. Them as a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one goes for around uh, eight thousand. This one yeah. could be probably sixteen thousand. So you can see the co and they are not it's locally not available. Yeah. yeah, they are not locally available. Mm. But in the next two months or so, we shall have a lot of them. Nairobi sponsors is bringing in a lot of them because of the demand which is there. Because all the schools in Kenya require them. Because they are learning it in class, they need the equipment mm. for practical purposes. So that is one of the issues which has made softball to stagnate. But mm. in the next two years, when we have a lot of this equipment, it will yeah, just be like soccer. So the other major challenge is the space. It requires a very big space. You need a space of uh, 76 meters for men and 66 meters for uh, women. It's and you know, that is yeah. slightly bigger than the soccer field. And then the diamond where the game is played, those facilities are not there in Kenya. So we are competing with the rugby and soccer in terms of space. So that is a major challenge. So like in a university, if you tell them to de construct a, um, a softball diamond, they won't do that. They will prefer to construct Football soccer rugby. or rugby. Cause of course, because of course, because of and the numbers involved. Yes. Yeah, because that takes a lot of land and space. Yeah, land and space. Mm. Uh, Simon, what are some of the challenges you're facing? Because if you're starting your own club, you also need these facilities. Uh, the problem is funding. Yeah. Yeah, we need uh, funding is the problem everywhere. Like right now, when we want to participate in the series, we love to pay the particip participation fee, mm -hmm. which at, um, at, at a point we can't raise. Uh, another thing is how to organize the team to have these uniforms, equipment. But the good thing is that we have our own gloves so we can manage to modify. Like mm -hmm. we train, like the, the difference between my club right now and the university club is that I have an experienced players 
Mm-hmm. So they can cooperate or ad- uh, uh, let me say like modify for a training. But the big problem is funding and equipment. So far, how does how do we close that gap, uh, Francis? Yeah, closing that gap. One, we work with um, partners like Nairobi Sports and other outlets so that they can bring in as many equipment as possible. Mm-hmm. The other thing is, of course, to partner with the government so that as we bring in the equipment, maybe they can lower the taxes. Because when we bring in the equipment, they charge us a lot of money. They then only say they'll do that and they've <laughs> but they never it. But they never yeah. do it. They attempted, I think, in 2016 and then it was taken off immediately. Mm. Yeah, so if they can, you know, lower the taxes or make it free, you know, bring in the equipment, get free, I think that would be a good thing. W- what is the government telling you right now? Right because now, they are they still working you. on it. You know, they keep on saying we are working on it. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, National Rebbe Committee is trying something. They are giving us 150,000 shillings every year for bringing in the equipment. I think that is something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 150,000 every year for bringing the equipment. That is okay. So slowly, uh, by slowly, we shall have a lot of equipment around. So for them, they are also lucky because in second art shops, you can find a few gloves. Eh? Yeah. When Wazungus yeah. use them, and they, are, they no longer need them, when Asirusha uko kwa mitumba, we are able to grab a oh, few of them. Yeah, they are able to get a few of yeah, them there. Yeah, or scavenge. Sure we don't <laughs> this is leather. The, uh, yeah, it's leather. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be leather. Parts so of it is leather. Yeah, part of it is leather. Sure, we, see how we have fundies who can do this. Yeah, probably. But they're not now competition class. Yeah, and then there is the yeah. market. Eh? So we need to develop the market so that we have a lot of players, you know, demanding for them so that the foodies can see. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, they can see the market. Because eh? if you make it and you're selling it for 8,000, probably it will remain there for the next yeah. two months. Yeah. But we need to create the market to have so many. But, but uh, the good thing is that if you take it to a kid of three years, no, no, not three years, of ten years. The ones who are in grade five, they will pick it up and they'll be very happy. Mm. So you can give a kid this one as a gift and they'll be very, very happy. Very happy. But the standard seven, standard eight, because they don't, don't know what softball they don't is. Know the sport. So we are getting there slowly by slowly. We have a lot of work to do. Mm. Um, let's take a quick break uh, <coughs> and then uh, we continue because I want to talk a bit about sports education because I realize both of you have taken sports education seriously as well, mm. which I think is a plus for any sport. So um, allow us to take a very short break. I need a glass of water, <laughs> but we'll be back in a moment. Chief, chapiri ba ingi ne. Simna ni jua. Nilikuwa date na msupa. Na mabiste zake. Gafla binvu. Momo ruflani wakatu chafia meza na dishi ya bure. Nika oliza. Mbona si yangu kiangi vitu za bwerere? Msupa kanisho. Ukidai za bwerere, lazima udownload Betika app. Beste yake akadai. Ukidownload na uchezi na Betika app, unapata free bets. Oja kwanza. Free bet. Oya, oh yeah. kwani utambua mara ngapi? Kabisa! Eh! Ukibetika, unapata more. This story is related to Kwako na Betika, the official sponsors of happiness. Gambling can be addictive. Play responsibly. Not for persons under 18 years of age. This advert is authorized and regulated by the Betting Control and Licensing Board. License number BK281. Betika, jukwala mabingwa.
welcome back. Thanks for staying with uh, Radul live. Yes, today we're talking about SOFO. By the way, I'm even feeling excited about today's conversation with Francis Karugu, the president of Softball Kenya, and Simon Okeo, he's a national team uh, captain. And I'm not usually excited about sports I don't know about, but this one I am. Uh, is it easy to learn? Is it a sport that's easy to learn for someone, for, not for a child, for someone like me? <laughs> Uh, usually we start teaching them in Kenya at the universities uh, and okay. they all learn. So I started teaching him at second year now he's a captain of the national team. So we can see it's easy to learn. As long as, 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 as you know the basics, healthy. yeah, being able to gather the ball and draw it. Yeah, the basic skill is getting the ball, framing and drawing it to the target. That's the good. other skill which is critical is to be able to get the bat contact, being able to hit the ball with power Take it as far as possible so that you have enough time to run to the first base, the second, the third, then home. But if you are not able to give, get contact, mm. then you'll be put out. If you miss three times, then you're out. So the, the sight is important, being able to hit that ball. So yeah. that's why the skill of uh, maybe badminton is important, because the contact is the same. Looking at the shuttlecock at the Yeah, say so, so probably <laughs> you can learn softball very easily. It's only that uh, the uh, where you hit the ball with a slightly smaller yes. compared to the badminton. Badminton is a racket, it's huge, but this one is small, so you have to be more I precise. I the other day and I actually hit the ball several times. So yeah, but, so the, but, the, but the golf is so uh, stationary. Yeah. Oh, this one is this flying to This is flying, yeah. Yeah. it is it's moving at a very high speed. speed. What? Yeah. Huh? At the speed of uh, probably yeah. 60 kilometers per hour. It's a bit, it's softer than a cricket ball, but not soft. Not soft. Not soft is the name. The, huh? name, is the name. This one can, oh, soft <laughs> ball. Oh, this one can injure you. What? Are you prone to a lot of injuries in this game? Yeah, but mm. as long as you have the glove, you don't okay. have to worry. Yeah, so this glove is for protection, as you say. So when you see the ball coming to hands you, grab it that if you don't then it will mess up it <laughs> dental <laughs> formula probably it will mess you up it will mess you up a little bit mm. okay um before when you were introducing yourselves you said you're doing sports science yeah. correct yeah, yeah. I and did. Yeah? i did sports science. you did sports science you finished yeah yeah yeah, yeah? And uh, you were also a sports professional, obviously. No, I did physical education. But when mm -hmm. we were in the university, there was no sports science. The only thing which was there was physical education. Physical but education. later we introduced sports science mm -hmm. and the recreation and exercise science. And more and more sports courses are coming up. Are coming. Generally speaking, and uh, I like it when I hear that, because it shows that we're slowly beginning to take our sport more seriously than just mm. something you do on the side. So uh, how, what does it mean to you to have people taking up sports science and sports education? What does it mean for the industry as a whole in terms of trying to professionalize it? What it means, uh, in my view, is that uh, one, this game is going to spread very fast. Because when I teach like 40 students every semester, then they move out all over in Kenya. They are going with knowledge. Mm -hmm. So the only thing they need is equipment there and some players so that they can start the game. The other thing is that they are going to teach the skills in a better manner because they already know the skill, they already know the methodology of teaching this sport as opposed to getting people from somewhere where the ones who don't have the basics, not the ones who don't have the science of teaching those skills. Mm -hmm. So for them, when we teach them and we keep on churning them out of the universities and they go all over in the towns and in the villages, so that is knowledge. So what, the, what they need is just equipment, and uh, some players and they'll teach them very easily. So at the end of the day, those players will be better taught than, you know, people who do not have the science. Eh? Do, the do basics. Do ask yeah. to Akali people. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we can use that word. We can mm. use that word. I'm yeah. using it on myself. <laughs> what made you decide you're doing sports science? Because it's, it's I mean, uh, I know for a fact job opportunities are a bit limited. So it means mm. you're almost going to offer your services and not get the reward you should get if, say, you were in a foreign country? Like, uh, I never knew sports science all my mm. life until I joined KU. Like, when, uh, after my Form 4, mm. I was called for sports science, and I was really worried what, 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 what is, is this? it, yeah. But when I came to learn about it, see mm. the opportunities, there is a lot of opportunities in the, uh, the field. Mm -hmm. Like, don't just have to do sports alone. 
It's not only physical. No, mm -hmm. it's physical. No, but I'm saying it's not only the 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 sports. Uh, what can I say? Ecosystem. Here we tend to think it's a sports person only, but there's positions for 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 doctors, for for yeah. for management, for accounting, for legal. You know, there's so many aspects of sport, and we as a country tend to think sport is just the player, and maybe that's where we are getting it wrong. I saw when I was in second year. Uh, I was doing swimming mm -hmm. and I was good in swimming. Mm -hmm. So from there I started learning how to coach people swimming and I saw that I can I can start hustling through this course at that age. I don't have to wait to graduate, look mm -hmm. for papers, as long as you have skills. So I took sports science as a serious course or as a serious thing, part of me, then with the game in it. Like I think it's the best friend I have in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what's your comment? About no, no, my comment on mm -hmm. that is that when we are teaching, you know, people are, who are in the sports related area, they are very easy to coach because they are already passionate about it. Mm -hmm. For them, you know, and to tell them to go to the sport in the evening and they all go there because of the passion, the drive, as opposed to people who are not pursuing a sports related course. Mm -hmm. if, you are, mm -hmm. if you are coaching, probably somebody who is taking CRI and history, you know, they are not seeing uh, the future of uh, softball. But for them, they would see the future in it. Then the other thing, if you look at him, he did sports science. He has already gone out of the country. I don't know whether the people who, who are taking Kiswahili and uh, mathematics <laughs> have gotten a chance yet <laughs> of going out of the country. So it's an opportunity. Uh, he is already, you know, at the national level. We are in national colors just because of the course he took. Yeah, and the government paid him, gave him a lot of money for representing the country outside. The, the CRI Kiswahili people, they are still probably looking for a job. For him, he's already <laughs> getting a lot of money. Hey, no offense, CRI <laughs> mathematic people, but yeah. 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 And that's an it's opportunity, great yeah. opportunity. And uh, in um, May, by the way, on 26th and 27th, we are taking him, probably you'll be the coach of what we are calling Baseball 5. Baseball 5, you know, currently most of the sports are getting the smaller version of it like rugby there is a uh, seven sevens. in um, uh, volleyball we have uh, what we call a beach volleyball yeah uh, then uh, basketball we have three on three mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and right, football there are five seven five and yeah yeah seven. okay then we have seven aside mm -hmm. the, the main reason is uh, so that we attract the youth eh? they need games which end very quickly because a software game can take even two hours but the youth want something fast, which is more exciting. Mm -hmm. So we've developed something we call Baseball 5. Baseball 5 is played by only five players. And we don't use this equipment. Mm -hmm. We use a small ball like this one, and you hit with the hand. And the oh. field is smaller. You, don't, you only need this ball. And so we are calling it street fashion of softball and baseball. Mm -hmm. So you can play it uh, on a space of uh, 13 meters by 13 meters. So half of the basketball field. And you only use this ball, you hit it with the hand, run to the first base, second base, and it ends very fast. Yeah, so that, that's more exciting. And that's a smaller version of the game, just like the others. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably in the next two, three years, it will be the Olympics. These are the main older version, of course, the traditional fashion, you know, is very expensive because of the equipment. Eh? But the smaller version, the baseball five, it ends very fast and it's more, it's more exciting. The scores come really quick. So we shall be having the qualifiers, Africa qualifier of the baseball five mm -hmm. in Tanzania in um, May, yeah, end of May. And uh, baseball five is played by five players and most, most of the times we mix them. We have co-ed where there must be oh, two, people, yeah, yeah. two people of each gender every time. So it moves really fast and we, there we are able to accommodate the girls and the boys. So you're excited about that. What are our chances at the tournament? Uh, in East Africa, mm -hmm. we're really good. I mm -hmm. think so. Uh, I believe think. in that. Yeah. I, believe, I believe in that. You believe in, in East it. Africa, yeah. Under your stewardship. <laughs> 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 and the good thing with it is that a new sport, eh, the Americans also don't know about it. Yeah. So we are the same level. We are starting at the same level. Come mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. But for them, you know, for this other sport, they have all this equipment, mm -hmm. they have the facilities. But for Baseball 5, you only need a space. So we are at the same level. We are starting at the same level with them. So we can handle each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we are at the same level. We are starting at the same level with them. So we can actually be the best in the world. I understand the girls are going for World Cup qualifiers. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah. This year. So this year, in um, yeah, la last month, February, we took the 
under 23, or we call it the U23, and the seniors for the uh, qualifiers, mm -hmm. Africa qualifiers. And if those qualifiers, uh, South Africa qualified it both, then uh, we shall have the version of it uh, in September, the women version of it in September. So in September, we shall be taking the senior ladies. I don't, they have not said the venue yet, probably South Africa. South Africa, because they have better facilities, mm -hmm. we shall be taking them for the Africa qualifiers for the World Cup, but in September. Yeah, but. And what are our chances? Or Currently, they're facing the same challenges as the. Yeah, guys? challenges are bet, uh, almost the same, but the women's side is slightly better than the mm -hmm. men. Yeah, comparatively. Really? Yeah, because <laughs> they, they have had more exposure. As I said, they went to uh, Zimbabwe in 2005 mm -hmm. in their uh, uh, yeah, Beijing qualifier, Olympic qualifiers. Then in 2016, we took them to Canada. The World Championship, so they are slightly better. They have gone to Uganda several. So Uganda has, has a very good team. Uh, the ladies are. We have taken them to Uganda. I think three or four times. The men have never had another exposure, ex international exposure. The first time was last month when we took them to South Africa. So mm -hmm. the ladies are slightly higher. In Africa, they are ranked fourth. So I think ah. they can move higher with more exposure. It will be better. Do we have the? Do we have female coaches as well? We have female Referees. projects. In fact, in that men's mm. team, we had Susan Wajiko, who so was uh, one of the coaches. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, and uh, she was doing very well. That's fantastic. Mm. In terms of uh, facilities, because you're saying we don't have the space and your field is bigger than a football pitch. Mm. Is there anything, uh, what's happening towards trying to get the facilities we need? Because I'm sure if you train on something and then you go and compete on a different field, Obviously, it's not the same because you were yeah. limited. Yeah, that is true. Probably this model of government of uh, coming up with facilities in one central place, maybe like Kasarani, mm. they just create many fields where all the teams can use, especially the national teams, but they jet mm. out for competitions. I think that would be a good idea. Kasarani has so much space behind Yeah, there. they have a lot mm. of space. So it's only getting all the sports which are being played in Kenya. They just make one good field for all the sports so that maybe a month or so before we jet out to go and train on that facility so that as we go there we don't get the shock that we are now <laughs> seeing a very nice facility and we never used you it can't yeah the other way could be yeah. maybe yeah give us more exposure we keep on going out there to experience to have a touch of those international facilities and to have some local uh, exposure for fans as well because we don't even know this yeah sport is here but mm. it would be good to watch you in action somewhere yeah you know mm. do we have any tournaments that uh, can be prepared under the federation just to, to go to different Kisumu, Mombasa, Nakuru, you know. No, yeah. have one. You have one that like you run. No, like uh, next weekend, we have a game in Meru. In Meru? Yeah. Share your flyer, we promote it for you. We tell <laughs> people softball is coming to Meru. And the Meru pitch is big, you're playing the stadium. Yeah. So because that um, Kinoru is quite huge. No, not stadium, in not Meru in University. Oh, in Meru University. Oh, they have space as well. I've they had they have actually a diamond. Uh, diamond. Oh, which is uh, more or less like what we experience out there. Eh, okay. Yeah. So this is being driven by the universities. Yeah, basically. Completely. Yeah, the, the advantage of the universities, one, they can be, they can afford to take the team whatever because they have the transport, they have the buses, mm -hmm. they have the money, and they have the youth whom we need to train. That's the advantage. As opposed to probably what primary schools, probably most primary schools don't have buses. Probably they start complaining of fans when they are traveling to Mombasa or something like that. Mm. Yeah. But then for the future, we want to start age group. At the moment, we are in the universities, but we need to go to the age group. We go to under 10, under 12, under 15, so that the under 12 move, yeah, they graduate that way, so that by the time they reach the universities, the team is really good. Because yeah. teaching somebody at the university all the fine skills, they may not mm. grasp them as well as when they start young. So we need to start when they are young. That is the age group category. Start from under eight, probably, all the way. And uh, when we do that, mm. probably our team will be at the top. Is, is our coaching world class? You know the way in football you have CAF B, CAF A, then you have UEFA B, UEFA A, like that. Uh, do we have world class coaches? At the, mo at the moment, we don't have very good coaches because uh, the people who have completed, you know, most of the coaches come from the players. He plays up to a certain level, 
then he retires, then he goes to coaching or mm. So the the game has not generated or churned oh, out enough. enough players who have now retired and moved to coaching. So we have a few, but they are not at the top. But we are trying to partner with the WBSC. WBSC is the World Baseball and Softball Confederation. That's the body which governs the two sports at the top level, mm -hmm. at the world level. So we are trying to partner with them so that they come and offer as many coaches, as I mean, mm. coaching clinics as possible, so that you keep and on take developing. take some of these young yeah. ones to go and train so the for best. for him, we want you know to encourage him now to move to us coaching or or umbiary <laughs> so that he can train the younger you ones. You want to coach or you want to play? You want to play. You want to play. <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, for How now. old are you? 28. 28. Yeah. So y this game you usually play till roughly 40. Even 40? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Olympic um, last Olympics, the uh, picture of the uh, USA was 40. 45. 45. Uh, the best picture in the world was 45. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's good. <laughs> that's kind <laughs> to to you because a lot of sports by the time you're thirty five you're yeah, done. You're you're done <laughs> because you're but there's also the risk of injury. Mm. So it's good to also have a backup plan mm. in terms of at least you have sports science as a as a mm. degree course, you mm. know. And you have some college uh, coaching knowledge. Because mm. heaven forbid you want to play till forty, you get an injury and you can't. And you have to look for plan C, since this yeah. was plan B. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But I love your enthusiasm. What What is your wish list, as we wrap? What is your wish list for softball in Kenya? Wish list is that to have yeah, enough equipment being brought in by the sports stores, like uh, Nairobi Sports and all the sports, all the stores in the sports stores, to bring in as many equipment as possible. Mm. Yeah, then, of course, we need the support of the government to keep on uh, exposing us. You know, mm. previously, we, we tried applying for funding, but in Africa, we in a kwam, and we have pesa. But I like the new system in government mm. of, the, of the sports fund, because mm -hmm. they have the money. Because uh, last month, we tried to, Regard now, Mba Mungu, he ended through. We've been praying God all through to be on our side. Kini Mungu akatuwa the government. Yeah, it's, it's a good a model <laughs> because I think they have enough funds at the moment and they are able to. The system they are using, I think, is good. They are able to sp uh, to sponsor most of the sports. So I think that's a, a good thing. And also, we we wish we can have sponsors mm -hmm. like the rugby team. So mm -hmm. at least at uh, that moment, we will grow very fast. If you have sponsorship. Yeah. That's why it's so critical to, to work on a fan base and the popularity of the mm -hmm. sport. Because mm -hmm. sponsors will ask you, they, they target their consumers through you. Mm -hmm. They'll ask, who are your fans? Who mm -hmm. are your? But if you're big in universities, surely there are corporates who want to target universities, like mm -hmm. banks and mm -hmm. insurance companies, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, I, I hope that comes to play. On a personal level, what's your, your wish list? Qualifying for Olympics, World Championships? Uh, now I've... Uh, I've com I've competed in Africa. Mm -hmm. Now my wish now is to compete outside Africa. Hey, Africa, we are done with you. <laughs> 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 so that, that means I have to qualify from Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but it's possible. Mm -hmm. it's possible. I just like your enthusiasm. You know, I'm excited because you're excited. You know, I have people who come here to try and sell their sport, and they don't seem as passionate as you are. So I think you you go a long way. Thank and you. I'm glad we've had this introduction to softball. We must have many more conversations. Yeah, now that yeah. you have our contacts, yeah. let us know if you're having your tournament in Meru. Uh, unfortunately, it's too far for us to go. Eh, Meru can send. Bali. You can send. Washara. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she, she'll, in, in she'll go as a cheering squad. Yeah, and as a baby. So, yeah. so yeah. good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but that's 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 fantastic. Thank you for coming. Um, on Radul Live, and uh, let's keep the conversation of sport of softball going. Yeah? yeah. So thanks thank for coming, you. and thank you guys for watching uh, Radul Live once again. We'll see you next week, where we are hopefully not introduced to another new sport. By now, we should know most of them. Yeah, but see you next week. <laughs>